Adventures with Paul. Hey yo, welcome back to Adventures with Paul. As you can see, I'm back in the game. All right, we're gonna get right into it. Today's adventure. Uh, we have taken you to Akatink Creek before, and now that it is December, we are going to attempt to trout fish. Spoiler alert, we didn't catch anything. We are going to come back and make a mean ramen dish, something I've been wanting to get after for a long time. Get after, I'm gonna get after this adventure. So come with me, so let's. Go. All right guys, back at it with Mark from Retro Pop Planet. Uh, we're gonna see if we can catch some trout today. You gonna catch anything? No. How come? Not. I don't know. We've had the perfect weather conditions today. The water temperature is pretty cold, and it's crystal clear, and there's a lot of deep spots, but there's just nothing biting. And there's not a lot of fish in there, probably. Not probably not for us. So we're out here at Akatink Creek, and if you saw in one of my previous videos, this is supposedly stocked with different types of trout. Um, probably won't catch anything today. It's really shallow here, it's deeper over there. But I can't get over to that section. Um, you know, I don't have waders or anything, uh, so I'm not gonna like actually go out here, but you know, we'll just mess around and see what we can get. can see how peaceful it is out here. But I'm not a true trout guy. This is really, really shallow up in here. About all I'll lose is my line. I'm gonna walk back this direction since I don't see anything and I can see my brother off in the distance. You probably can't see him from here though. No, not yet. I've actually seen a kid in a YouTube video that's caught right at this spot before. He caught like three or four in a row. I don't see any. My brother's saying he sees some down there. We're gonna get, head over there and see what he sees. In the middle of the creek where it gets shallow, but then there's like a dip. And I keep seeing him, although I can't get out far enough with my rod, but he's about six inches long. All right guys, test kitchen. Today, we're gonna make ramen. It's kind of been an all day process. I started with the eggs, I made the meatballs, and now this is the easy part. Um, but as you know, homeboy can cook. Let's get in here and get after it. So I forget what these eggs are called, but we're gonna start with the rest of this rice vinegar. All right. I'm gonna go with maybe one to two tablespoons of soy sauce. There's one. Let's go with one more. Two. I'm gonna go with a tablespoon of its fish sauce. 
And a tablespoon of sesame oil. Just gonna let that cook down. Got this water boiling. I'm gonna carefully add six eggs. And we're going to hard boil them for about six minutes. We're going to take these eggs out and put them straight into an ice bath. All right, you can see that I peeled all of these. They're actually soft boiled eggs. I'm going to, I let this stuff cool, let's see. Yep, it's cool. I'm gonna pour over top. And I'm gonna place these eggs in the fridge. I'm gonna go fancy on you today. I'm gonna show you all the ingredients first then I'm going to time lapse it. So in here we have ground chicken. We have one tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, one tablespoon soy sauce, one tablespoon of flour, two tablespoons of sesame seeds and one egg. We're gonna blend all this together, combine it like a meatloaf and make little tiny meatballs. see give or take they're all relatively the same size in a large pot I have about a tablespoon or so of ginger garlic and then the green onions I'm just gonna cook them down I have them in about a tablespoon butter and olive oil adding in this kettle and fire bone broth chicken bone broth tablespoon of rice vinegar, spoon of fish sauce, a spoon of soy sauce. I always use low sodium. Gotcha. I'm going to add a pretty decent amount and then we're going to bring this up to a boil. So I got this boiling. I actually dropped these in the freezer for a few minutes. I'm going to now place them in here and cook for about five to seven minutes. Gonna add a decent amount of kale because why not? We're gonna follow the package instructions and throw these noodles in this boiling water for three minutes. We're gonna do our best to assemble. I'm gonna take these noodles and start putting them in this bowl. I got my noodles in the bowl. Now I'm gonna take some of this broth and these chicken meatballs and pour it over top. down the middle as carefully as possible. Ooh, look at that. This is how we're gonna finish it all off. I want it to be a little hot, so I'm gonna add sriracha to it. We're gonna add these green onions. Add the sesame seeds. Finally, we're gonna add the soft boiled eggs. All right, guys, I don't even know how to taste test this. You can see it. Woo! I think I'm going to start with the broth. It's hot. Ooh, I might be able to get some of a little bit of everything. Mmm. Guys, this is packed with flavor. All right. What else can I get? Let's go with some noodles. I think that's what you want to see is the ramen, right? Mmm. 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 It's got the heat. It's got a right amount of salt, not too much. Oh, this is going to be killer. Mmm. Hey, guys. Welcome back. No trout, gave you the spoiler alert. Um, came across a couple guys and they mentioned that uh, it's stocked about three times. I think the last of it will be in March. So they do an October, a January, and then a March. 
Um, pretty interesting just to, to get talking to some people out there that knew a little bit more about it. Um, what'd you think of that ramen? Give it a, uh, a try. It's definitely something that is perfect this time of year. It warms up the tummy and the soul, all right? Um, it tickles my tummy. Uh, but anyways, guys, if you like this video, as always, smash that like button. Make sure you ring the bell and get notifications so that you are up to date. Subscribe to the channel. And as always, guys, keep it positive. Keep it stoked. We'll catch you on the flip side.